Hello, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com with a mini review of the Hoopson X4. It's also known as the Model H107. This thing absolutely exploded in popularity after Traxxas released their QR1, which looks exactly the same, but costs more. The X4 is tiny, it's one of the smaller full function flying RC things ever made, at least up to this point. And yet, for its size, it feels very stout and actually kind of heavy. Most micro sized quadcopters have carbon fiber booms that attach the motors to a center mounting point, but the X4 uses a relatively thick plastic cage. The top and bottom halves interlock and are bolted together and they sandwich between them the PCB as well as a LiPo battery that you can remove. For charging, the RTF set includes a USB adapter and this can take around 45 minutes to charge a battery. The controller is a 2.4 GHz radio unit. Kind of plain and simple looking, but it does have a functioning LCD screen. The sticks feel really good, they give you good traction on your fingertips. They move slowly and they don't have any play. Trims for all four channels are digital and they allow you to switch between high and low rates for most controls by just depressing the right stick and letting go. The X4 in flight is both more and less stable than I expected. Immediately after takeoff, or if you get it to roughly hover, it's just rock steady in the air. The gyro system really does its job. But as soon as you touch the controls a little bit, the thing starts really moving. The controller defaults to low rates, but even those low rates give you quite a bit of agility. And if you're flying in a small area, you definitely need to use very small stick inputs. That is, unless you build up a lot more speed than you want accidentally, then you may need to exaggerate your corrections briefly in order to overpower the gyro. Now, things change quite significantly when you switch to high rates. The X4 goes from peppy to borderline maniacal. You can keep it fairly tame by keeping the sticks very close to center, but ask the X4 to move in a direction and it will move in that direction. I'm not a skilled heli pilot and here I was doing the filming while flying, so I'm only able to demonstrate a fraction of what this thing is capable of. You can bank or pitch it almost 90 degrees in a panic maneuver. Of course it will also do 360 degrees. That was a full backflip. But to pull that off, it just uses the standard gimmick that most micro-sized quads now come with. On high rates, a quick flick of one control stick will trigger a fully automated flip. You just maintain altitude and the gyros take care of the rest. This is a fun little quad, but definitely not set up for beginners. You can, however, adjust both the low and high rates independently for each channel right on the controller. It's not a particularly straightforward or intuitive process and the instruction manual really doesn't help you very much, possibly instilling as much confusion as information. Again, not for beginners. If you already have experience with four channel aircraft, then I do definitely think that the Hoopson X4 is worth considering as a fun little toy on the side. You can find them online as low as about 45 bucks US ready to fly. I personally would prefer one of the larger micro quadcopters that's available for the same price, but I definitely understand the novelty of the X4, and it is definitely a serious little machine. And on that note, I wrap up this little review. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.